Hey everybody, it is Wednesday night at SeaWorld and look over here. Roller coaster construction for the surf coaster. It's a race at this point. Will this open first or Tron? Back at SeaWorld today for Electric Ocean, which is taking place over in that area. Also past member rewards. Unlimited quick queue through the end of the month after five o'clock. Ah, red, white, and blue squid hats. The sky looks a little frightening. Here we go for Electric Ocean. Still running through September 5th. We have Ignite 360, which we are gonna do tonight from the tower. It is an extra upcharge and they have Club Sea Glow and also Club Electric Current. And Rescue Tales, we did that show the last time we were here. And quick pause the video so you can remember where all of these things are located. Oh, dolphins, there's a dolphin just staring at a baby. Whoa. Can I take them home? Oh my goodness. You know, SeaWorld is considered the coastal capital of the South. What I care about? Dolphins and sharks. Oh my goodness. Oh. Guy's mouth is moving. Oh my God. Whoa. Electric ocean. Electric ocean. Oh, this is made up of all plastic lids, all recycled. And this too. Oh, it's like a dance party going on. With one kid dancing. It's a sky tower going to the top. We did book the experience for this later be able to go up and watch the fireworks with some drinks and snacks. Electric Ocean. Are you looking for a quick snack or beverage? Literally a refrigerator of beer and seltzer. Electric Ocean. Let's go say hello to our friends. I can't even make the joke about DJ Shark anymore because he's off the Jaguars and on the Lions now. Now there's a shark on the Lions. Go figure. Oh. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Next at 11, sharks under attack. Hello, sir. Just sharking around. Oh my! Look at his mouth. So cool. SeaWorld just had a shark event yesterday, a little media event. All I'm saying is, I'm not interested in a lot of media things, but you need to do something about sharks, hit your boy up. This is my favorite part about coming to these parks. I could stay here all day looking at these guys. Due to inclement weather, the rides are down right now. They are telling you to seek shelter. Hey, Super Nintendo World is here. Electric Ocean. Still a big line for the raft ride. And there is thunder in the distance. The boat's running by itself. Nobody in it. Just the black mold. Walls, walls, walls. And look at those clouds. Oh boy. Leaves falling, thunder happening. Moisture in the air. It almost always rains when I go to Sesame Street Land. All of the rides are down. It's just straggler people walking around. Can you tell me how to get, how to get some cookies? Holy cow, look at how empty it is here. Regardless of the rain, I've never seen it like this. We're pretty high on the happy meter today. The rain begins. Hey, Oscar. Oscar. Oh, 
sorry. So as we come up by Icebreaker, it's a good opportunity to talk about Hollow Scream at SeaWorld. They announced the return of this house yesterday, under ice house or ice cold or the horrors of vanilla ice, whatever it was called. A good house last year, it's back. Electric Ocean. All of the entertainment that's normally out, also not out because of the impending storm. Lots of pollen flying around though. The main Electric Ocean area is closed off right now as well. Electric Ocean. All right, so the only thing that's open, literally the bar. Chocolate style. And the rain is starting to come down. Oh my goodness. Almost an hour later. Oh boy. The rain has pretty much subsided, but the entranceway to the stadium is still closed over by Icebreaker. So the main electric ocean area is still closed because of the weather. The skies are pretty much clearing up here. I'm not sure what this means for the upcharge for the tower that we paid for. I'm assuming there's still gonna be fireworks tonight. Well, dance party was supposed to start about a half an hour ago. Still blocked off. The smallest squishmallows I've ever seen. D is for dad. Oh, a little Halloween here. Electric caution. This particular area was the greatest scare zone of all time last year for the SeaWorld Orlando. They kind of had the camp theme going on. They had bungees jumping from side to side. I know there's a bunch of people that ask like, you know, what should I do? Hollow Scream or HHN? I'd say both HHN, super glossy experience. Hollow Scream, tons of scares. Here's a view of the coaster construction that is going on for the surf coaster. But back to this scare zone, it was glorious last year. Oh my, the bridge is closed. We can't get to the tower in an easy way. We rode these paddle boats the last time that we were here. You can check out the video linked up above. The sky is really treacherous looking out that way. By the way, the sign here outside of Elmo Rocks talks about the concert series. They have Queenstrike and P.O.D. coming up here. If you're watching this channel and you know Queenstrike and P.O.D., I mean, come on. It's included in your ticket. It's not Jeff Tate Queenstrike, but it's good enough. Also, sharks. Let's check out the sharks again. I think we're the only ones in here. It's a lot of fish. Oh. He's smiling. Ooh, this guy is just stuck here. It's always like a few of these guys are active and then the rest of them are just like, eh, ah, what are all the guys? going? And his buddy up there. This guy is taking a siesta. And his buddy up there too. And this guy. So there was an awesome pirate scare zone over in this area last year. I believe that's coming back for Hollow Scream also. It's not even raining anymore. Hashtag SeaWorld at night. Electric Ocean. It looks like the party is still blocked off in the general area. The floor is so slippery here. Oh no, it's blocked off. Come on, tower. Do your thing. All right, so we are a little early for our return time here for the tower fireworks. I'm not sure if this is actually gonna happen or not. It is pretty overcast, but it's not raining. Lots of people walking towards the exit. Nobody looking at electric ocean fireworks. More importantly, nobody here to take the upcharge people for the 4th of July fireworks. Well. 
Fireworks supposed to start in about 25 minutes. It is a ghost town over here. So 837 on their socials, there is not a single mention about what is happening here. Is the event happening or not? Who knows? I am thinking I am the only person that paid for this upgrade during the day here. And the tower is up top now, but nobody out here to explain what is happening. So somebody came out and said that they were not able to green light the fireworks for tonight. So go to guest services and see about getting a refund. So SeaWorld put everything on the ride ops to let everybody know that it was canceled. The rest of the folks that are waiting around have no idea. And as you can see, it is not raining, but there are storms in the area. It's just overall poor communications from the SeaWorld staff. And here we are in guest services line. All right, SeaWorld, super windy, but not a lot of rain, not a lot of lightning, at least in the general area, but we're getting out of here. Electric ocean. Well, I'm back home from SeaWorld. It's actually two days later this time. Uh, not a lot to report from SeaWorld. The experience that I had is something that I think a lot of people end up having uh, when they get to Florida and they get to theme parks and they have this ideal vacation in mind. Um, it rains here a lot. Uh, basically every day during the summer we're due for some type of uh, wicked thunderstorms. And it's not like, you know, when I lived in New York for 30 plus years, you know, we thought it was pouring outside. It basically was kind of like a drizzle compared to Florida rain where it's just really severe and heavy and a lot of lightning and a lot of thunder. And when there's lightning within like seven or 10 miles of any of the attractions, they just shut down. So that generally means no fireworks, no attractions, no outside stuff. A lot of food stands, things like that will close down. The parks always stay open, um, but there's not much for guests to do. And unfortunately, when you're spending hundreds or thousands of dollars for your vacation, you're kind of stuck also. In this particular case, um, SeaWorld was very quick to get a refund. I went to guest services um, and they had the refund process that night. And uh, at this point, I don't know when or if I'll get back to the Electric Ocean stuff. Uh, probably the, at least the next time that I would plan on getting to SeaWorld would be uh, for Hollow Scream. Ironically, SeaWorld has concerts coming up and they always do concerts bigger than any of the other theme parks. Like, you know, there's been times that we've gone to shows there, whether it's uh, Toby Keith or Kid Rock or Dennis DeYoung or these other bands. Um, Hall and Oates comes to my Hall and Oates plays arenas like MSG and stuff in New York and they play SeaWorld. And they get these big acts um, for, you know, what I imagine cost them a lot of money to bring in and uh, to get guests to come into the park. And they play full sets, like two hours plus at times, too. But in any event, they have um, Queen Strike playing in a couple of weeks, as well as um, POD for anybody that's into uh, 90s um, kind of rock music. Uh, so they'll be there um, and, and power to them for whoever they can get to come into the parks. But... Um, it was good to see the sharks for a little bit and see the dolphins at least. Those are the two top two things that I like about that park. But for now, get out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.